Vanity tweets for a vanity trip. I'm Brian Lilly with Rebel.media. Do you remember we told you about Christia Freeland's vanity trip to go see her old buddy Bill Maher? That's right, the international trade minister sticking all of us with the bill so that she could fly from the Apex Summit in Manila, Philippines to Los Angeles to go see Bill Maher and then had her staff spend an awful lot of time coming up with excuses for being there, like setting up meetings she didn't have before she decided to go on the HBO show. What I found out going through the more than 500 pages of documents we received through access to information is not only about this whole invention of the trip, but also that Christian Freeland is a minister obsessed with Twitter. And that means her staff is obsessed with Twitter. I want to give you some examples, not of reading off the tweets, but reading off the memos of the tweets, the planning for the tweets, the meetings, the strategy. That's right. You won't believe some of what's going on. This is a memo that went out asking for a draft plan on tweets. Check it out. Much like the APEC draft tweets, could I see a plan for LA tweets? Tuesday, tomorrow works. Minister would like one of the tweets to include a shout out to Minister Jolie in the context of promoting creative industries abroad. They want a plan for the tweets. That's right. It's not spontaneous. It's not let's tell people what the minister's doing. No, they want a full plan for the tweets. So they got one. Uh, below is possible material for tweets we can re-examine once we have more info. But please let me know if you are good with these and we will Twitify. It then goes through a series of potential tweets for the minister, including saying that she's meeting with LA studio executives, that she's doing a roundtable with economic influencers, that she's visiting IMAX. Again, all of this so she can go see Bill Maher. My favorite, though, is this memo back. They say that they've got to make sure that there's no fluff in the tweets, but my favorite, tweets have to be jazzy and fun and well-written. She doesn't like to drop articles in tweets. Well, that meant there had to be revisions to the plans because, as most people do on Twitter, her staff had shortened some words. Ooh, that's a no-no for Minister Freeland. So, here's one of the revisions. Was heading to LA to build relations and seek ops for Canadian companies looking forward to meeting with California business leaders. That had to be split into two separate tweets. Heading to LA to rebuild or build relations and seek opportunities for Canadian companies was one. Looking forward to meeting with California business leaders was another. Look, I, I get communicating with the public is important. I get Twitter can be a valuable tool for that, but this seems like quite the obsession. The minister specifically asked for tweets on her meeting with two of the guests on the Bill Maher show, uh, Mayor Gavin Newsom and Senator Angus Kane, until her staff pointed out that, why would you want to do that? This is part of the private program. It says, this is at the show and part of private program. Would we still tweet? See, Freeland had requested that they stop talking about her going on the Bill Maher show. She wanted it to be listed as a private meeting, private part of her program even though the meetings were taking place, the bilaterals with Senator Kane and Mayor Newsom, yet they happened backstage at the HBO show. And then finally, a request from the minister. D Mint does not uh, want tweets to announce the trip. Can you look over the FR and we will shorten all of the minister. It, this is an insane, as I said, an insane level of planning, an insane level of dedication by very highly paid staff to run a Twitter account. It's a Twitter account, for goodness sakes. Couldn't Freeland or the person sitting next to her carrying her bags just once in a while tweet out what she's doing, send a picture, just like most people do? Even high-paid celebrities manage to do that. Instead, we've got directors of social media and strategic thinking. We've got operations staff making sure that the minister's tweets are jazzy and fun. Is that what we pay bureaucrats for? Is that even what we pay political staff for? This is a, a vain woman, a vain minister, while being vain for a vanity trip. I don't know about you, but I don't think we got money's worth out of this one. We'll continue to watch her Twitter feed to see if we ever do. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.